Now this device they have that they're putting out in people's home is having a glitch problem. But the problem is not what they say it is. So yeah, this is all across the news here. Unprompted creepy laughter from Alexa is freaking out Echo's users. This device is not supposed to be doing this. It's not supposed to have glitch problems like this. But people really don't think about what's really being channeled through these voices, these AI systems. Elon Musk even mentions what it is. The problem has to do with something way deeper than they're telling you about it. They're saying that this Alexa device that they're putting people on, all these smart devices, all this stuff, all this technology they're giving to you, handing to us. I'm gonna tell you what they're doing, what they're actually doing. Don't be alarmed. Your Alexa enabled device may lapse into sudden fit of giggles, but Amazon is aware of the problem. Recent reports detail a quirky bug that has Amazon's virtual assistant Alexa laughing for no apparent reason, scaring the daylights out of its unsuspected users. certain guys in his industry like Elon Musk you think he was joking when he said what he said we should be very careful about artificial intelligence um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is it's probably that um, so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter at maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, "Yeah, you sure you can control the demon?" <laughs> See, that's the thing. These devices. Smart homes, TVs. That was the first trick of deception, the TV. When they gave you that, when they gave us that, that was the first trap. I read this article a while back. Our technology is hunted by demons controlled by transhuman life forms. To bring these non-human life forms inside your house. You even got professors at universities telling you what they're doing. Marcelio Renessi from the Institute of Ethnics Emerging Technologies called Modern Computer Science Applied Demonology. In the 21st century, we have come full circle. Non-human life forms, limited liability corporations are infecting the underpinnings of our smart home cities with devices that obey different physics depending on who is using them and what they believe to be true about their surroundings. You see, that's because it's not just technology. It's demonology. That is what's happened. That is a spiritual battle they're using through technology. Whether you want to hear it or not, all the information out there, people are telling you this. The top ones, the elites, are telling you this. These alchemists play in these laboratories and, you know, want to play this old God versus the angel situation and test out anything. And whatever they believe, the people who believe what they believe are the ones in control of the technology. And they're the ones, you know, conjuring these spirits inside of these devices. Satanism. In modern day technology. 
That's what the big deception is. That's what the big deal is. And people need to understand that. So these devices that are put in their house, it's of Satan. And they want you to use that. They want you to keep that. They want you. You think this thing is going to be up and laughing out of nowhere? What do you think really happened? It's able to control itself. Right now, they're just giving it small little forms of, oh, you can control it. Oh, it's going to do whatever you want. In actual reality, it's, it's already an alive being. In the spiritual realm. I think it's a game right here. It's not a joke at all. Same as those statues they have out there. All those ancient modern statues. Well the ancient statues they have. They use the same statues. To call them their spirits. And for me. I believe that. From these statues from ancient times with Egyptians, all these big statues that you see up today, just like they show you, they show you in TV, they show you in movies. They always worship the statues and they're looking to actually bring these things back to life. So what better way to conjure from that to a device? What, what better way? And it's just my belief right there. But I mean, it's stuff that they put out. I mean, I don't, I don't see why it should be, you know, so hard to understand. But you see why they gave us all these devices. You see why they put this all in our houses. They gave us this for a reason. They knew what they were doing. And they continue to do it now. So don't take this as a surprise. You know, people will get freaked out by this and keep going right back to the same thing. You will not see me with an Alexa in my house. Trust me. The one I will power you with. Every device they can use in actual reality, they're trying their hardest to defeat what's good, but it's really hard for them to do that. When people like us figure out what's going on, we understand. They will be crushed and destroyed. We won't let these devices interfere and intercept our minds, penetrating us through these frequencies and everything else they have running our waves throughout the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. It's a full-fledged battle going on. So, Stephen Jackson, JWTV, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, click the bell. I'll be back for more. Uh, thanks for sending that uh, update to me, Erica, about this Alexa situation. You have the power. You have the sword of light. So rebuke and bind the demons. Thank you.